Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm comparing the two LEGO Harry Potter sculpture sets that LEGO has made so far. We've got Fox from 2021 on the left and Hedwig from 2020 on the right. Both of these were $40 sets and both of them have the same exact flying function. We'll take a quick look at the minifigure stands first. Both of these are done in the exact same way, except for one difference, which is that Dumbledore has golden grill pieces on the left instead of these just one by two tiles. Um, I would have preferred they keep that consistent. Something I don't like on either of them is that there is a jumper piece right here. That should be a tile because like you're never really going to put a minifigure like you can't put like the stand or the minifigure any closer to the bird, but the birds are on the same exact perch. These are exclusive variants of both figures, but I definitely like Dumbledore more because Harry is just in Hogwarts robes, whereas Dumbledore is like a very nice variant that we haven't seen before. These sets have a lot of similarities, so I'm just going to start with the bases. They are pretty different. It's the same general build, and you've got like the crank for the flying function, but Fox's is like kind of, it's, it's built in a slightly different way. It's got a little bit of a different shape, his perch. He also has a completely different base with those gold pieces, which, which I think looks nicer than Hedwig's. But Hedwig's is also really nice because you've got those Gryffindor colors in the base over there. Hedwig's set does have stickers, so the name is a sticker there, but for Fox it is printed. That's definitely an upgrade. And then this letter that Hedwig is holding on to, those are all stickers as well. I prefer getting the prints, um, so I, I'm more happy that Fox had a print. And both stands do have a little perch for their minifigures. You can just put them on that jumper. Over here, I think that this definitely works better on Hedwig because with Fox, the perch is floating in the air a little bit, whereas with Hedwig, it's sitting securely on the base. Now we're just going to zero in on different parts of the build. I far prefer Fox's feet just because the claws, I think, are done a lot better and they are more adjustable because his feet are bigger. The letter looks pretty good, but it doesn't really look like Hedwig is holding onto it just because of the way that her claws are built with these just a few small pieces. Also, she kind of looks unfinished over here. I don't actually know if like I like maybe a piece just broke off of mine, but um, I don't think so because this hasn't really been like th this has been on display. So I don't really see where a piece could have fallen off. So I don't really like that unfinished look. Um, and Fox does have some gaps around the chest, but th those are mostly covered up when the wings are down. You, you, they're just really visible right now because the wings are in the flying mode. I do prefer Fox's head to head wigs as well. I just think that Hedwig's is a little bit awkward and it can also only like rotate side to side. You can't really move it like up and down. And the entire shape is just like kind of kind of weird. I mean, I guess I don't really know what an owl head looks like in real life. Because I only ever see them like sitting, not flying. But it's just, it's a very blocky shape and the designer did the best they could. There are exclusive printed eyes, but it is just a little bit creepy in some ways. Fox, however, is done absolutely perfectly. He's also got much more range of motion because you can move his neck at the base and then his head is also on a ball joint. And I just really like the feathering look that was achieved with his face. The birds are pretty well covered up around the side, although I don't like these exposed studs on Fox and actually these two on Hedwig as well. I really think the designer should have gone to more of an effort to cover those up because they just need like one or two pieces. It's really not too much to ask for, so I don't like that. And I mean, we might as well do the function now as well if I can even fit both of them in frame. It's the exact same thing. You just turn the crank right here, if I can get my hand on it. Come on. Okay, and Hedwig is not working for some reason. Maybe it has been... Oh, okay, sorry. I was just turning the crank the wrong way. So Hedwig's, you kind of have to turn hers backwards. But then for Fox, you turn it forwards. So that's interesting. I didn't realize that that was different. But it is the, the same exact function. Sorry, it's kind of hard to fit these in camera. But it's the same exact flying function on both of them. You just have to turn the crank in a different direction. The wings are pretty much identical. The only thing that's slightly different is the way that these kind of like wing tips are built, but even those are very, very similar. And again, going back to things that look unfinished, first of all, I hate how much gray there is in Hedwig. You can see all of that gray poking through, which is really irritating because I'm pretty sure that these pieces exist in white. Like there's there's way too much gray on her. It's, it's really frustrating. Um, but the other thing is that the wings look unfinished. So I think it's less apparent on Hedwig because they, these are just white tiles going into white studs. 
but on Fox, it's very clear, like, because you have dark orange and orange going on to red. So I think that these really needed to be finished a little bit better around here. And the other thing is that Fox's wingtips kind of impact this angled plate a little bit. And you can see they used a smaller angled plate on Hedwig, so you didn't have that issue. Um, or actually, I guess you kind of still do. So sorry. So both of these wingtips on both of the on both of these sets, I think that these are just like a little bit too close together. And I would have preferred if they were more spread apart or like a little bit smaller so that you could get a little bit more motion out of those. The rest of the wings are built in a pretty much identical manner down to, you know, like this part up here with like the three tooth pieces and that quarter circle plate. And now we come to the tails. I definitely prefer Hedwig's here. I said this in my Fox review, but it's just, it's too flat, his tail. It's like, it's too uniform. Hedwig's looks much more feathered and you can like kind of spread it out more. And the other thing that I mentioned in my Fox review is that Fox is way too small. These animals should not have the same wingspan. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, Fox is, like, a huge phoenix. Even his piece, like, looks, like, decently bigger than Hedwig's. So I really don't like that they end up being the same size because I think his head should be bigger and his wings should be bigger and his tail. So, I mean, like, in Harry Potter, like, humans can grab onto his tail to fly away. You can't do that, like, with, with this creature. Like, there's not enough tail feathers there for a human in this same scale to be able to grab. So, I'm really not pleased with that, because if they were going to make these animals in similar scales, they didn't need to copy the build exactly, especially when it's inaccurate for one of them. So that about does it for this comparison. If you were going to buy one of these, I would definitely recommend Fox, even though it is an inaccurate scale. I just think that certain things on him are done better. I think the coloring is more interesting. The head is done better. The tail, um, not the tail, sorry. The talons or the claws in front are better. Also the crank. I forgot that you have to turn Hedwig's crank like the opposite direction. Maybe I built it wrong because that seems kind of weird like to have cranks turning in different ways for the same set. So I'll have to look into that. But, but yeah, I do think that Fox is like the better bird but I think that Hedwig in the long run it's it's just a more accurate size and even though the head and like claws aren't done as well and there are little unfinished areas on all of these I did look it up I'm not missing a piece here that's just like that's that just looks like that that's really annoying just like a little smooth piece would look much better there so I don't know why there are like these little tiny unfinished areas left on these sets because otherwise, they're pretty great. And the function on both of them works amazingly. I really love that flying. So that's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And check out my website, goldenninja3000.com. I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.